So recently you've heard more about the opioid crisis. The Centers for Disease Control says that since 1999, more than 930,000 Americans have died from an overdose and 75 percent of those deaths involved opioids. Chances are you know somebody who's been affected. And fentanyl, which is a synthetic opioid, has made that situation far worse. The CDC says that in Texas from 2019 to 2021, overdose deaths rose by 399 percent. And that figure is very personal for one father who lost his daughter to what he thinks was an accidental fentanyl overdose. And tonight he's sharing his family story with you so that you can protect your kids. She uh, played trombone in high school, but she um, she was a sight reader. And so she could um, read a sheet and then just start playing it. Mark Falsing's face lights up when he talks about his daughter, Jessie. She was a good kid, helpful. Jessie was 18, studying math at UTSA. Her goal was to become a doctor. She was also a gifted martial artist who trained other kids and loved animals. And, uh, you know, and she, <laughs> she was just so adventurous. Mark's struggles saying was when referring to Jesse. And that's because on November 23rd of last year, she was found in her college dorm room dead. Investigators found pills in Jesse's room. And according to the Bear County Medical Examiner, she died of fentanyl toxicity. The first thought that went through my head was fentanyl um, was because it's like uh, that's the only thing that could have taken my daughter down. And that's difficult for Mark to reconcile. Mark wonders if Jesse took pills because she had been stressed and wanted to take her mind off schoolwork. She didn't struggle with addiction, and he knows that Jesse wouldn't knowingly take fentanyl. The irony is, Jesse worked to keep other people safe from fentanyl. She volunteered at clinics and warned people about the dangers of fentanyl. Even two weeks prior to her death, she was handing out Narcan to uh, the people on the street and talking to them about it. Now, Mark is trying to focus on all the good that Jesse did for her community. He wants to be at peace. That's why he has a message for parents. Talk to your kids and warn them about fentanyl. This stuff will kill you uh, with no warning. Um, and, you know, and, and, you know, when your parents like us, when you send your kids off to off to college, you know, and they're kind of in that bridge to adulting, you know, that adulting light when they're living on, on campus and they're under kind of a structure and stuff, it's like they're still in danger. Now, we've spoken with UTSA about what happened to Jesse and the school released a statement which reads to us in part, quote, our university community was deeply saddened by the tragic loss of Jesse. Officers from the UTSA Police Department's Criminal Investigation Division are working closely with the Drug Enforcement Administration to investigate Jesse's death, determine how the fentanyl was obtained, and hold those responsible for supplying the drug accountable. Now, our coverage of the opioid crisis continues online. What we want you to do is just scan that QR code that you see on your screen, because from there, it'll take you directly to our website, where we have other stories that show the dangers of fentanyl. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.